Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day today. Starting off with the first update, my closet. I'm actually really excited for this space. Um, what I ended up doing is allowing the closet to sit for I think about three to four days, really allowing that paint to dry. And not only that, I wanted the paint smell to be almost like 90% out of the closet before I started to move anything back into the space. So right now what I'm doing really is trying to put all the shelvings back, putting the doors back on, and I'm moving things in the closet slowly, but not everything fully into the space. Now that I have all of the shelving installed, what I'm going to be doing is going in with some spray weight glass cleaner and I'm going to be cleaning all of the glass inserts. Let me just say if you guys are new to my channel, like the, the my closet, my closet originally came with wood shelves and after about five years of having the closet, which was about maybe a year ago, I decided to take all the shovings out and I went to a glass store and I had them cut it out. Depending on the color of your closet, the glass itself comes in different colors. You can get clear, you can get a gray, you can do like a opaque. Again, there's different options. So if you're interested, you can definitely check that out. In the past, I've been told Home Depot and Lowe's cuts glass. I've never experienced them doing that for me, and I know my location does not offer that service, but you can also check those stores out. And if all else fails, you can definitely go online and Google like a glass company in my area, and you will find some, and you will find resources that can better help you with your home and your projects. Turning over to my vanity, what I am doing now is housing like all of my facial cleansers, any creams, makeup removers, anything like that, I am putting it in the drawer. The units that are inside of the drawers, I did go to Home Goods, but 
Whenever I have the time, I have to sit down and do all the measurements very similar to the kitchen and the bathroom and buy all of the units that I actually need in order to, you know, like set everything up a little bit better. But for right now, this is definitely working. I believe these units are from the company called iDesign. And like I said, you can find them at Home Goods and then also at Container Store. So basically what I'm doing is going through the box, which is on the floor, and I'm looking through to see what I want, what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, and I am really, really purging. At one point, I had a whole entire slew of products. Now I'm really trying to condense things to like maybe 10. I know 10 is a lot, but <laughs> it's definitely not what I had before. So give me some room, y'all. Give me some room, okay? All right, you guys. Ooh, hold on. All right, you guys, I stopped putting things together because I'm looking at the drawer and I'm going to have to order some of these. So I'm going to do four for this side, four on the other side. And then what I'm thinking is to do three of these in the bottom and then I can just house my stuff. What I'm trying to do is put everything within these drawers right here and leave the top empty. That way, um, whatever doesn't fit, I can either donate, give, whatever, but it just won't be here because I realize that I have accumulated a lot of things and a lot of it is unnecessary. So basically, it will look something like this. I really like this a lot. And of course, I'm going to use the liners to line outside of that. I'm going to stop because I'm tired, but this is it. This ain't even all of it because I still have another box full of things <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get rid of these right here so I'm gonna take these to the goodwill that way they can have them so that's that the next area that I want to share with you guys is the boys closets so the closet is done I do have a little bit of cleaning that I have to do you can see where the guys um drop some paint what they did is they sprayed the closet once they got done spraying it i allowed it to dry for about a day or two and then i went in and i sanded it and then i hand painted it both of the boys have the same exact closet the same exact configuration for my youngest son i decided to do different hangers that way they wouldn't argue over hangers and then for my oldest son i got him black suede hangers I am not done putting all their clothes into the closet. I'm still working on things. I'm trying to also iron some things so that way the closet can be fully like working for them. But I wanted to give you guys just a quick look at what the closet is currently looking like. Also, my electrician came because my mama got me a new TV, y'all. So I have an LG TV that I... I'm currently installing in the upstairs loft and you can see my new rug. I have a whole lot of videos recorded that's going to be coming so you guys will see that. But while he was here, I also had him change out the ceiling fan and the master. A lot of you guys have been asking me, DMing me, emailing me, asking about this doggone light. And I knew the light was going to get changed. Like I said, it's just about really being patient. Everything has to come in due time. I didn't want the light fixture to go up. And I was trying to get the house painted and sand and dust and all these things going on. And here's the light fixture up getting like all the brunt of the abuse. So I really wanted to wait when everything was done and then I can go ahead and move the lights. So my electrician came in, he took down the old light and he started installing the new light. The light is currently sold out from Overstock, which is where I originally purchased the light fixture. But I did find one on a different site and just recently someone shared with me an Amazon link. I will be leaving that in the description box down below. Let me just say, before you purchase a light fixture, any light fixture, this particular light fixture, you need to measure your room. You want to measure the length and the width and you want to add that up and that is going to give you the diameter and how big your light fixture should be. My room supports the 52 inch light fixture. So again, you want to measure the full span of your room, length and width, and you wanna add it to get the diameter of your space. And then you wanna go ahead and start looking for your light or your fan in your room. But like I said, this is the one that I have currently installed. This light probably looks extremely familiar to some of you guys because it was in the last house. Again, I think I said this before, 
there was only a handful of things that I knew like, okay, due to the size of the last house in my house, what was going to work and what wasn't going to work in the space. And I knew the light fixture was something that was still going to balance out the room and the size overall. So I did take that with me. And then I also had the day bed in the mirror. You guys will see it in another video. Cause again, like I said, I already have that content already um, edited and posted. I'm just waiting for time to pass. That way I can kind of post it and share it with you guys. But Thus far, I am loving the house and how everything is coming together. Every time someone comes, they're like, oh, the bills didn't do this. I'm like, no, <laughs> they didn't. And it feels really, really good because I know how much time and effort I put into my home. So to see things come together, again, it's just really, really amazing. So here is the light fully installed and you can see it. Another tip that I want to share with you guys really quickly a lot of people are not using their fans properly in their rooms. Your fan goes clockwise and also counterclockwise. So if you're noticing that you're not getting enough air, so if you're noticing that you're not getting enough air from your fan, you definitely want to check to make sure it's going in the proper direction. This light goes in both clockwise and also counterclockwise. Now that my electrician is done, I am going to start my part, which is basically cleaning the ceiling fan. So I haven't dusted the ceiling fan, nor do I think it has been dusted since I pretty much left. So there was quite a bit of um, buildup of dust. I do have a Swiffer duster, but I wanted to be able to go in with the microfiber cloth and really clean it and just be able to get in all like the little crevices and make sure everything was like nice and clean. I do like to do this, I would say about once a month. That includes like cleaning the ceiling fans, cleaning the light fixtures, sometimes even taking down some of the parts and like washing it and then also changing out the filter. It just helps me to stay on task. That way I know what got done and what didn't get done. So at the end of the month is when I like to do that really, really deep, deep cleaning. Like I said, it just keeps me on schedule and on track with what needs to be done. If I'm looking at it and it's fine, I won't mess with it, but most definitely if I'm already seeing some dust particles on there, I will get my ladder and get up on there and clean. Before I was fully done with cleaning it, I also wanted to go in and change the light fixture. Now, the previous bulb that was in there was a soft white because in the previous master bedroom, there was recess lighting. I don't have any recess lighting, so this is going to be the only light fixture in the room alongside of my side table lamps once I get those. But for right now, this is the only light, and what I switched it to was daylight bulbs.
just in case you were curious, this is what the fan looks like going clockwise. Now my fan does come with a remote. Now my fan does come with a remote, so I just click it once and click it twice. And this is what the fan looks like going counterclockwise. I am going to leave the fan like this because in the summer months you want it to go counterclockwise, that way air can go down because heat rises. And then in the fall and winter months you want it to go clockwise. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's upload and I will see you guys next time. Bye.